Hi Aries and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you for all your support so far and um, for your comments, likes and subscribes. So your June video um, was the second most popular so I'm really glad that resonated with a lot of you. So I'm doing today a bonus love reading and this is, um, I'm going to do two. The first one is those of you with someone on your mind, could be an ex, and the second for singles, okay? So I'm going to do their energy and your energy. Okay, so let's tap into the other person's energy on your mind. Okay. Just going to move these. Now your energy. Bottom of the deck, we've got Cancer Scorpio Pisces, a lot of emotions. I'm actually feeling it in this reading. It feels um, <clears throat> like there's a real connection. And um, you're reminiscing at the moment. And this could be an Aquarius Libra Gemini who's on your mind. If you're thinking about this person, you're having lots of memories. This person has you on their mind. Um, this is your energy. And they're, but they're also back and forth about, you know, how they feel. A bit up and down emotionally, closed off in their heart, and they're trying to find the truth about how they feel. That's what I'm really getting here. It's interesting, you're, you're kind of, you and this person at different ends. That's what I'm getting. So you're aligning, but not, not quite there yet. So for you, I'm getting, um, you're really thinking about your wishes and you're also trying to balance your emotions. With the Six of Pentacles here. Um, you, for you, you want stability, this person, and you want to communicate. That's what I'm getting here. Interesting, you've both got this closed off energy. So I'm getting mirroring here. You might be twin flames. You're being quite, you know, arms crossed here and, and this person with, with their heart covered. Okay. But I'm getting you're both having memories about each other. How how's this person feeling about Aries? Okay, we've got two major arcana, Cancer and Aquarius, and Pisces. Oh sorry, three major arcana, sorry. Just missed that. Um I'm getting the full moon that we just had, the eclipse, was quite significant. And that's brought a lot of healing, a lot of purging. And they really want to move forward with you. That's what I'm getting. They're thinking about that at the moment. This is destined. Um, the moon, so um, we've got, you know, a very feminine energy there, a very intuitive person. How do they want to come towards Aries? Wow, interesting. They want to communicate. They want lots of things to happen, but they're really up in their head. 
again we've got these mixed emotions that I'm getting here. They're quite anxious, feeling lonely, and they want to connect with you. They know you're their soulmate. Um, okay, so they want to communicate. Yeah. And they're, they're also checking you out on social media. I'm getting, they haven't let go of you yet. Okay. Um, let's pull some of these messages that I've channeled from my angels. These are for people in separation. I did it for Twin Flames, but anyone, you know, you've got a connection with, basically, is, is relevant. Okay. I wish to be with you now, holding you in my arms. When I close my eyes, I always feel you in my heart. I want to reach out, but I'm afraid of rejection. Yeah, that's what was coming through, wasn't it? That, as I said, that back and forth, juggling of emotions at the moment. At the bottom, I miss you so much. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're really thinking about you. As I said, that was really coming through before. Okay, Aries, so I hope that might have resonated. So now we use a different deck to do singles. So anyone who's single, not really with anyone, not anyone on your mind, but some messages might come through still for you, even if you know there is someone on your mind. Okay, so we've got the sun, first of all, Leo energy. We do have a happy um, outcome for you. And we've got a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Now that came out in the last reading for you. Um, so some are very compassionate, trustworthy. Um, emotional, shows their emotions. And I'm getting a lot of you want to travel and you're moving on from a difficult situation. So some of you have been through, you know, something difficult. You're moving away from some energies that weren't so good. I'm getting anything else for Aries here. Okay, now that's interesting. We got the Queen of Water, so we've got a really good counterpart here. A very good, strong connection. Relationships developing to a new level. Now, this could be someone from the past or someone you're with now. We also have the Lovers, um, Gemini Energy. And with the Sun, I'm really getting, you know, soulmate twin flame. An intimate relationship needing to make a decision about this but I'm getting a happy outcome seven of air you are going to need to think about this carefully interesting we've got the six to the seven so transition um, but you might not trust this person that might be the issue it might not be the right time I'm getting yeah Four of Earth, you're going to be quite closed off in your heart. Now that came out in the first reading, so check that one out. You might need to heal your heart chakra. In the Empress, we've got Libra Taurus energy. And I'm really getting to inflame Divine Feminine here. And you're going to be abundant, I'm seeing, and happy. We've also got Cap Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Um, this could be you receiving a job as well, um, but it can also be, you know, this energy coming in. So I'm very loyal. I'm getting a few there. Okay, any any other message for Aries? Wow, more water. 
page of water. So we've got either this is someone from the past or it's someone new. Someone offering an apology, maybe. Um, and it's like some of you know this is coming. You're feeling quite intuitive. Um, but there are some barriers in the way. So that blocked heart that I was saying about before. Try to maybe do some heart chakra meditation. Okay, we've definitely got someone coming. I'm very intuitive, artistic, friendly. Okay. Let's get an oracle card. Or, okay, we've got two to finish. Yeah, there you go. Infinite blessings. That abundance that I said is coming for you. Your wish is coming true. With the snowflakes, it could be in the winter. Okay, so moving on into the winter. And be your best self always. Yeah, so maybe this is where I feel you need to do maybe some inner work. Yeah, looking within. Um, uh, are you are you doing what you want to be doing? Okay, maybe releasing emotions with the water here. Um, yeah, go going with your heart. I'm getting follow your heart strongly. Okay, Aries. So I hope you've enjoyed this bonus reading. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments if anything here resonated with you. And um, wishing you all the best. And I'll see you soon.